Okay, welcome back. So now that we have our geometry all finished, we're going to be learning how to set up uh, different levels and uh, also create the extruded one inch block. So we're going to be basically making it 3D. We're going to be making it a solid. So to come over here, if you notice the level, how we're on level one right now, what you want to do is come over here, click on levels, and you're going to have this dialog box appear. Now we're already have done 17 entities in this level. So if you come over here on under level one and type in uh, 2D geometry, okay? And then now that you have that set up, come over here and type in two again, and now we're gonna, we're gonna be creating the solid, okay? And for the solid, what I'll do is I'll change this to red. Okay, I'm just going to be changing the color of my drawing to red. So instead of drawing in uh, green, which is my first sketch, it's going to be red. Now that now that you're on the second level, and basically we're, we're, the reason why we're doing levels is, if you notice, our first level is going to be this 2D sketch that we've drawn, and our second level is going to be our 3D or the extruded block. The reason I draw this is to make it easier later on with more levels that I work with for more complicated parts to easily turn on and turn off uh, visibility of certain features so I can easily uh, finish off my part without having to go um, back and forth and uh, turn off little features or delete little things or it gets a little bit messy so uh, that's the big silly the biggest reasons are why we use levels so now that you have that done come over here to extrude and click on extrude okay it's gonna ask you to basically select um, a chain or select the whole 3d so what I'm gonna do is come over here and select everything so I selected this entire part uh, for for uh, extruding you only want to select the outer boundary really you don't care about the middle parts for now you will be doing those one by one later but the outer boundary is the main um, part that you want to extrude because that's the main part that you want to make a block before you can machine so click on OK and you're gonna get this I'm gonna move this feature to the right and we're going to get this extrude chain come up. It's going to ask you basically, uh, what do you want to do? Extruding, extrusion operation, you're creating a body. We haven't created a body yet for us to be able to create a cut or add a boss. So you have to create a first a solid body before you can do most of this stuff. So I want to come down here to extrusion distance direction. So extended by specific distance. So this is how much we're extruding it. If you notice, our block is one inch thick. So we're going to be extruding it by one inch. Okay, or we can extrude it to a certain point if we want to. Okay, and also there's a vector. Vector is kind of like the fast point. Okay, after you can do it in reverse direction, so you can actually do it up or down from that level. That's why we created that one level. Or you can do it in both directions. So that those are both like the reverse uh, button that we've learned in the previous exercise. So I'm gonna click on the okay. And I'm gonna make this isometric, and you're gonna notice my uh, part is created in 3D. So now you have your entire part all created. This, now you have the the top level, which is everything we've drawn in our first uh, two videos, and then now we've created the solid block. So from here on out, what we can do start is by uh, start by cutting up a little pocket uh, over here, and then cutting up all the five through holes that we have done over these. So we'll get those done in our next session.